The session deals about the description of mycoplasma structure. I've already told you that they are Kingdom Monera members and they are prokaryotes. So they are free living prokaryotes. Then we have also discussed they don't have cell wall. It means the peptidoglycan is not present. So when the peptidoglycan is not present, they are smaller than bacteria because bacteria has another external layer which is cell wall and they don't have cell wall. They are wall less bacteria. So they are smaller than bacteria. So they cross bacterial proof filter. Now bacterial proof filters are something which will trap the bacteria and will allow everything which is smaller than bacteria. So mycoplasma are smaller than bacteria so they can cross bacterial filters. Now their cell membrane if you can talk since they don't have cell wall the cell membrane if you can talk it is trilayered cell membrane or trilaminar cell membrane. If you culture them in the what you call laboratory in the petri dish in, in vitro system they will show you frag like I mean fried egg like colonies so mycoplasma will grow as if like the fried eggs are going. They are non motile they don't have any any structure which is for motility. The replication disc it functions like I mean uh, like, like the time I've told you the mesosome functions which replicates DNA. So they have some replication disc, disc which assist the what you call genetic material replication. Now they are osmotrophic mode of nutrition. Osmotrophic means they can absorb the nutrients because they are parasitic. They can be what you call saprophytic. So they have this you know what you call absorbing the nutrients from the what you call decomposing substances or something. The RNA present in them is single stranded RNA and DNA is double stranded DNA. It's something like bacteria only. They are sensitive to, I've told you, they are not sensitive to what you call penicillin because they were not having peptidoglycan layer. So they were resistant to penicillin. Now, what are the drugs which can kill mycoplasma are tetracycline or chloramphenicol. We'll have to look forward because we cannot break the cell wall. Now, we'll have to look forward the drug which can inhibit the metabolic activities in the what you call bacteria. So, in mycoplasma, the metabolic activities are inhibited by either tetracycline or chloramphenicol or something like that, but not the what you call the drug called penicillin. So, they are penicillin resistant, but they are sensitive to these drugs. In the next session, we'll be detailing you about different diseases caused by mycoplasma in plants and animals.